Okay, so you've practiced factoring quadratics when a was equal to 1, and then you saw these problems on the back of the book. So I'll give you a light weekend. You can either take the weekend off or you can practice more. I'll teach you a more advanced method. So how do we factor this? Now, we know that. So here's the technique. Step 1. Multiply a times c. That's 6, right? Step two, make a table of the factor pairs of six and look for a match. So I know I have one times six and I have two times three. Well, one plus six is seven, I have a match. Two plus three is five, that's not the match. Now, here's the trick. This one and the six are actually gonna be a one x and a six x which equals 7x. You're going to rewrite this as 2x squared plus 6x plus 1x plus 3. Okay? Next step. You're going to break this up into two parts. A first bracket and a second bracket. Okay? Next you're going to factor each bracket. In these problems, it's gonna work out nicely. So, you have two x times x plus three, and over here, you have one times x plus three. What you're going to notice is that you're going to have the same factor in both terms. You're going to factor that out. So I'm going to take out the x plus 3, and that leaves me with 2x plus 1. And that's how you factor quadratics where the a term is greater than 1. Let's try another one. Now, secretly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick two, not two factors, and multiply them together. How about 3x plus 1 times 2x minus 5, uh, plus 5? I know from the FOIL method, it's 3x times 6, 2x is 6x squared. I know that 3x plus 5 is 15, and 2x plus 1 is 2x, so I have 17x and then 1 times 5 is 5. Okay, next, step 1, a times c. Well, 6 times 5 equals 30. Step 2, factor pairs. Well, this is 1 times 30. That's not a match with 17. How about 2 and 15? Ah, that's a match with 17. Rewrite this as 6x squared plus 2x plus 15x plus 5. Step 3, factor each section. Well, my first section, let's call this green, this factors to 2x times 3x plus 1. Now let's look at my second section. Plus 5 times 3x plus 1. Last, factor out the common term. So I have 3x plus 1. What does that leave me with? 2x plus 5. Factor each section, and then factor again. Let's try one more problem. How about a, a 7x plus 2x um, minus 5? So let's see, 7 times negative 5 is 35. This one's easy because negative 30, because I have to have 5 and negative 
negative 5, 7 to negative 5, or negative 7 to positive 5. I have my match here, so I'm going to rewrite this as 7x squared plus 7x minus 5x minus 5. Be very careful. Pull out the 7x. I have x plus 1. Pull out a negative 5. I have x plus 1. Final answer, 7x minus 5 times x plus 1. Try these steps on the back of the sheet. See how you do. Once again, this is a really advanced